The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, so this is a chart of uh, Bitcoin going over the past uh, couple of years. You notice we made a high of 69,000 way back here uh, in uh, October of uh, 2022. And then, of course, we came all the way down to uh, 16,000. And I drew these ABCDs here the other day. John Jameson gave me this chart, and we were looking for the ABCD to come up here right around 64,000. I just wanted to show you what happened. And this is what I, I'm just going to give the, my two cents worth, folks. And if you pay more than two cents, you've overpaid. But let's take a look at what Bitcoin did when it got to 64,000. We got to 64,000 and it dropped 9% in 15 minutes, folks. It dropped all the way to 58,325. Now we're back up there again. We're right around 63,000 again, which is, you know, that's that's the way these markets go up and down. But the problem that we have from my perspective, and believe me, I'm a skeptical little rascal because I've been around for a long time. I've seen all these things happen and I'm a little a little uh, nervous when I when I see things happening. This doesn't have any utility uh, from what anybody's told me, I mean, it, you know, it, it's just a bunch of numbers and dots. You can't put it in your wallet. You can't put it on your desk. You can't put it in your car, take it for a ride. You can't do any of those things. But let's take a look at a few other. Uh, we'll start out with the tulip mania. This was the one from 1636 to 1637. They had tulip bulbs uh, started at about 20 bucks, I believe. They got to the price of a house during 1636 and 37, right up in here. It was around ten dollars or $20,000 for a little tulip bulb. And of course, from February 3rd to May 1st, they went back to where they belonged, which was about four bucks. So anyway, that was the tulip bulb mania. And I'm, they, remember, this was long before we had charts. This was drawn by someone from uh, one of the economic firms that uh, outlined what was going on. But uh, that, that was that one. We do have another one here. This was really important from my perspective perspective because I'm such a big fan of Sir Isaac Newton. Here is the, um, this is the one from the South Sea Island bubble. Now Isaac Newton began buying down in here, okay? And uh, when it got up to this level right here, uh, he sold out. It was about, I, I believe he said it was near 10% near the high. He said he was fear, of just he had to get back in and he got back in and when it crashed, he didn't get out and he lost everything. This was one of the smartest men in the world, as Isaac Newton said, you know, not Isaac Newton, uh, <laughs> Albert Einstein. I'm sorry. Anyway, just be just be be careful up in here, folks. I mean, when you start to see stuff like this and then yesterday, what happened was one of the I think it was Coinbase or somebody like this basically erased all the accounts and they had no knowledge of where they were. Now, they reinstated everything. But for a period of, I think, three or four hours, they didn't even know where they had whether they had Bitcoin or not. They would just disappeared. Well, when you got something like that, you know, that, something's not right, folks. Come on. I mean, I, you know, I don't know anything about it. Maybe this greatest thing in the world. But boy, when you see things like that, ooh, you know, I get a little scary. You know what you scared me a long time ago is when they start feeding me what we call it negative interest rates. That's what really scared me. Okay. That's what really scared me. So anyway, this is what we're paying attention to. Now, let's take a look at another bubble that was near and dear to our hearts going back just a few years ago, 20, wow, 24 years ago. Here is the dot-com bubble. You see it topped in March. The Dow Jones topped in January of 2000, okay? This one topped in March. Then we had the break, and we, it went from uh, 49,000 all the way down to 1,100. It was right after this was the 9-11, uh, okay? 9-11 was right there. You see, we made a low on 9-11. We rallied up, 
And then we came down and made the final low here in October of 2002. And from there, we went to 18,000 where we traded at today. So uh, it, it can, you can hurt really badly if you're in something like this. And uh, you don't want to try to you know, get involved with that if you can possibly get away from it. I'm just giving you some warnings here, folks. From my years of experience, I've been through all this stuff. I've, uh, Folks, I never owned a share of a dot-com uh, company through any of this. I, didn't, I don't trade stocks. I was in futures and stuff, but I did okay. I mean, the, uh, in 2004, right at this bottom here is where well, – right, right there is when I first met uh, Tom Hugart. And uh, Tom was just beginning to – you know, to get into – well, he was into trading, but he began to trade professionally around that time. And so we had a lot of fun during this is where the market came down, if you remember, into 2009, March the 5th, which was a big day. And that was the bottom of the market, and it's been going up ever since. So these are just uh, – you got to be – when you see vertical markets like this, folks <laughs> – when the only way up, the only way is down. I mean, come on, Isaac Newton said, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. It might take a little longer than we might think to get that reaction, but we usually do get it. So let's pay uh, pay a close attention to where we are. If you're in Bitcoin, uh, I don't know if you can use stops in that market, but just be really careful. I know some people have made a great deal of money, and I'm not sure whether uh, – um, Many of them belong here to TF for an internet, but I hear uh, you know bits and pieces that people have made a great deal of money, and I'm happy for them. But let's take a look here at the German DAX here. Look at this, look at this beautiful picture here. Six days down, stopped right at the exact 382, goes up, makes a perfect A B C D three drive to a top pattern, and now it's backed off a little bit, but still very little. See, we're just looking at patterns, and all patterns are doing is telling us to be careful. And when you see a market that is doing something like this where you see a huge move and, and it's great if you can make money during all these things but if you if you just looked at this from 58,000 up to 62,000 and then down to 59,000 that tells you you're going to get right around 63,000 for an ABCD and it hasn't been any higher than 63,000 so far today there's your A B C D and it's coming in right at the 78% level of that whole move, A, B, C, D, right up in there. So just be careful. That's all I can say, you know. And that's what I'm sticking to, and that's what I know, and that's what I'm going to do. When I was first really getting heavily in the market, this was in the 60s, late 60s, I got involved in a great Russian grain robbery during 71, 72. Russia was buying everything in sight. And they were. The trouble is, they start selling everything in sight in the middle of '73. So the bear mar or the uh, the big grain robbery was uh, all already over by July of '73. And what did the market do? It went into a vicious bear market for 18 months, taking it down into October and December of 1974 when the Dow got down to 500. That was as low as it got. Double bottomed in October and December of that year. Those were these types of things that we've seen in the past. Now, this isn't the same thing. This is what we were looking at in October of 1974. Uh, it would have been the same that we were looking at this like we had March of, of, of 2009. So these cycles are there. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. But stay tuned. We're going to look at some markets live and see what's going on today. So stay with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, this is a little more of the old ABCD. This is crude oil. We talked about this this the last couple of weeks. We had that three drive pattern measured here to 79.61. The high was 79.62. What we're going to do now is we're going to blow this up a little bit and then go down to a smaller time frame so we can see the action that's happened. And this is what we had. This was our number yesterday. We broke all the way down, uh, had a $1,200 profit at one time. Then it rallied. You'll see just absolute perfect. There's your X spot right here. There's your A leg. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. Right at the old 786, right there to the money. And now we've come down, dropped almost another $1,000 uh, from that level uh, right in here. So if you're only risking, like on this particular trade, you'd be risking about 60 points. $600. Once you've made $600, what you want to be able to do if you trade two contracts, if you can't trade two, then you can't do this all the time, but you want to start booking some profits because these markets have a tendency, to, especially as, and nowadays when they're so volatile, that you're able to look at what you're, you're seeing here right now. Now, this is just a small small uh, pattern that's right here, but it says that it still has the possibility to go a little bit lower. Now, if I I'm, I'm basically out of this now because when it pulled back to this level right here, it was right at the 61% retracement. I'd sold it at 18. I covered it right here at 46. Okay, that was a seven, uh, $750 profit, and now I'm waiting to see what happens next. So the thing that I'm watching closely is if I go down to the smaller time frame, all I want to watch is to see if I get that magical little number known as the old 382. So all I want to do is I see the high that's right here. I tap this in, and there it is right there. It didn't get above that 72, did it? Now look, you've got an A, B, C, D coming in back here again. So we could hit this one more time, and then it could start down. That's what I'm assuming it's going to be doing. When I see markets like this, you can see these ABCDs that are here. You can't trade all of these folks in the middle of the night. 
In fact, uh, today, I <laughs> believe it or not, folks, I hardly ever trade more than three contracts a day or three three units a day uh, of anything. Well, not units, but three things like the S&P, the Dow Jones. Uh, though that's one thing. And crude oil, gold. Uh, I have been in, uh, I think I've had nine trades today. I've had uh, six winners, uh, two losers, and one break even, making a nice return. But to have that many trades on for one day is really unusual for me. But I've been up all night. And the reason for that is the old allergy things have kicked in here at the old Pueblo here in Tucson. And so the Palo Verdes start blooming with all that rain we had. And uh, I'm giving him my uh, best today to uh, keep uh, keep awake to get through this show because I'm taking enough uh, antihistamines to put me asleep for about three weeks. Okay, now that's what we're watching. Now let's go back here and take a look at the gold trade that I was doing. Okay, now here's where we had the gold. We had this move. Uh, right in here, you can see we pulled down right before the report, right down here to the exact 786. Hit it absolutely perfectly, okay? That told us that we were going to go higher, and we did go higher. There was your old high right here. You can see the ABCD formation that we have, so we're just going to draw it in. See how close it came to that number we were waiting to see, which is right up there at around 12, uh, excuse me, 2060, I believe. 2060 and change, as I recall. 2061 was the number. We got to 2059, okay? And uh, what I did was that was close enough for me. And so I went in uh, right about here at the, right around 57. I, I sold it at 57 with my stop above here. Now, what I've done now, I have my stop at break even. My stop is setting at break even 57. That's all I'm doing. And so I'm just using that as a guideline of what I'm looking for. Okay, I, you know, that's it's all about risk control. That's really, you know, what what I'm really uh, what I'm really all about. Now, if I had a gun to my head, and I never do, this is the one I do right now. Okay, let's just get this. I would sell the old stop and pee right here because at this point you don't have to risk very much at all. 92 was a 618, okay, all right? The high was 95. So if you can stand the risk here of six points, you want to get short this thing with a stop above here. Now stop and think. This market went from 5106, it dropped 46 hand or 36 handles down to this level here before it rallied again. Hello, operator. It's trying to tell you, hey, this is not as strong as it might look. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's move on here to the next one. Someone asked a question during the time of uh, when I was in the markets back in 70. Well, I started real early, you know, back in the mid 60s, 64, 63. Most that's when I was trading silver and stuff like that. But uh, when I got trading grains and stuff, it was corn, wheat, soybeans, soybean oil, soybean meal. And, uh, you know, I was just using simple cycles. You know, that, that's really what I was doing. I was looking from low to low to low to see if there was a 16-day cycle here. I knew ABCD patterns. I didn't understand the significance of them until much later when I lost all my money. And I lost all my money, folks, <laughs> not because uh, uh, of, of what the markets did. It's because how stupid I was. The, the reason that I lost, markets would go up. And then I would try to buy the first eight-day pullback. Well, the eight-day pullback would come just like right here. And it was supposed to go up for eight days, but it didn't. Boom, down it came. It did that for two and a half months. And you can lose a lot of money in two and a half months trading against a trend. And that's exactly what I did. I took a seven-figure account down to minus $2,700. And believe it or not, it was my best trade ever. Because when I got through with that, Don Mack handed me the book, the Gartley book, saying, Study this, and you're going to be okay. And by golly, Don Mack was right. I've been okay. It's a little simple, A, B, C, D, but it's the one I like to use, and it keeps me in the ball game. All right, now let's move on here uh, to the next one here that we want to look at, and that question is the Christmas corn. It's having a down day, boys and girls, believe it or not. Here's where we are. We've had a rally now that rallied 20 cents. We rallied from 45 to 65. That's what we've rallied exactly 20 cents. It's been our biggest rally we've had in this thing since, oh, gee whiz, way back here somewhere. See, this went from 50, 
This one only rallied 10 cents. This one rallied 20 cents. So my suggestion was, if you're looking at this, there's the, what it looks like. Okay, now we're just this is just a small pattern. Now all we're going to do, as I said, look to buy the first 382 retracement because, folks, that'll get you into the ball game here. Now we almost got there. You can see here we almost got to the 382, but we didn't quite. So you got to wait till it gets there. That's at 458. That's three cents from where we are right now. You can buy it there and put 58, put a stop at right below 52. So you're going to risk $300 to be a uh, uh, buying, a, you know, starting your farm and uh, growing some corn. But that's what I would be looking at with the corn. That's what I'm paying attention to. Now, the soybeans have started to rally a little bit, but they're still not going anywhere of any significance. And that's why I'm not too excited about them as of yet. But boy, I will be soon. These are the November beans. Let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks. Now, if you sold this here at 92, like I suggested, your stop has got to be here at 98, okay? You're risking six points. That's, that's all I can say, and I'm sticking to it. All right, now let's take a look here at the soybeans, why I'm not too excited about the soybeans as of yet. Soybeans have been going down since Hector was a pup. Look at this. We had a high up here at 1320. Now we've dropped $2 a bushel. Look at this. You rally. For one, two, three, four days, and then you go down. One, two days, one, two, three, four days. You go down again, one, two, three, four, five days. One, two, three days, one, two, three days, one day, two days. When you first get a rally out of here and, it's, and it goes more than five or six days, that might be the spot to take a look at it. But that's what these markets are doing. If you, if you know, look at this. You see this spot right here? This took one, two, three, four, five, six days to make that high. One, two, three, four, five. There's the sixth day right here. Now, you know that's an important number. All you'd want to do is you'd go from the last high that it made right back here and see if that was a 382. So you put it in like that. And you'll see that it missed a 382 by quite a bit, but it's still heading down. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we're going to watch these go through because each time we've had a rally, it's made an ABCD pattern. There's your ABCD right here. Now, you'll notice here that it starts going sharply lower. Look at this gap. You see, that gap told you that it was going to go a lot lower, and that's exactly what happened. So you had another high in here and another high in here. So you start following it down based on the number of days that it's rallied. That one rallied four days. This one rallied four days, okay? And that's taken us down to so far as what has been the low, which is 11.24. We're trading at 11.33 right now. There's a possibility that this could be the low in the soybean market. All I wanted to do is to give me a five or six day rally, something like this, and then buy the pullback. That way I'll have a pretty good idea of what I'm looking at. All about risk control, folks. That's it is. You know, I whether it, like S and P you know, people <laughs> someone says, what does it take you to pick up a trade? Very simple. How much do I have to risk? That's all I want to know. I had a little plaque that uh, Amos Hostetter had on his desk at the Commodity Corp back in uh, Princeton, New Jersey. And it said is the pattern complete of what you're looking at, yes or no? And you had to answer yes or no. And second is, has anything happened to change your mind about this position, yes or no? If you could answer yes to either one of those questions, you could put the trade on. But if you could not answer either of those questions, in other words, it was no, you had to stay in the position. And that's how Amos made millions of dollars because he held positions through the most ungodly loss. Uh, you know, he would be he would be he would be bullish soybeans here, and they'd be all the way down here. But when he sold them, they would be off the top of the page. I mean, you wouldn't think that that's how he made his money, but he did. You know, he had a he had a fundamental structure of what he thought the market was going to do. He stuck by that. And he made uh, lots of money for a lot of people, but he had tremendous drawdowns on the way down. So I, I, you know, as my age now, I don't want to mess with the drawdown part. That's that's not that's not in my uh, not in my bailiwick. Okay, all right, let's get this out of the way here. I'm trying to uh, give you as much clear information as I can today. Let's get up here and take a quick look here at the. Uh, the e mini S and P just since we've got a trade. Oh, let, let's let's just clean the window tile vertical. Get ups. Oh, I messed something up. What did I get? Oh, I took out soybeans. I'll bet you. Shut the front door. Yep, I took soybeans out. I got to put them back, folks. Hold on, otherwise I've got a big problem here. Here's go soybeans. I got to get back up here to my old SX, and they'll be right there. And I'll put them back in here. All right, and then I'm just going to put the window in right here to tile vertical. And then I have to do one other thing, and I've got to save that layout. Otherwise, when I go back, I'm not going to be having it, and so that's it. So anyway, this would be one that if we were day trading today, I would be watching this one right here in the S&P. I would have been selling that right there at 92. My stop is going to be at 98. That actually got to be 
a little bit above 98 because that's 98. So you'd have to put it at uh, 99 would be the stop. You're risking seven cents, 350 bucks. Hey, this thing's worth a quarter of a million bucks. So that's not a lot of money. All right. So 350 bucks or 400 bucks out of uh, half a million uh, a quarter of a million is is not very much for as far as risk okay all right now someone's asked a question about wheat and that was one of the things that i said in the news of the uh last night let's get it up here i said if you're going to buy anything today <clears throat> look to buy the wheat and the reason why is wheat has made that nice little rally see how it's had a pretty good rally there for a couple of days that's a pretty good rally we went from 560 all, we rallied 30 cents in wheat. That's a great deal. Now we backed off for a few days. So if you buy the retracement, you just there's your low, there's your 61% retracement here at 571. And we said put your stop right below here. So if you did that, you got a little bit of a profit in it. You had a little more of a profit a little while ago, but at least it's in a profit. So that's that's what I'm trying to find. The same type of pattern here when the soybeans get ready to bottom. And boy, when they do, folks, I, uh, <laughs> I just thought of something funny. Uh, just I have to tell you a funny story. You, well, since we kill some time here, uh, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, 1970 with Eli Lilly, and I'm meeting um, one of the big top doctors, uh, uh, surgeon down there, that Harlan Stone. And uh, he was anti-Lily. He just didn't have much respect for Lily. For some reason, they sent me down there trying to get the Keflin on the formulary. And uh, so I got out of the plane, and I hopped in a cab. It's raining like heck. And I get in the cab, and I said to the cab driver, says, boy, is it raining. And the cab driver was African-American, and he grabbed my tie, and he pulled me halfway through the glass. And he said, don't you ever call me boy. And I, I told him, I said, sir, I said, I'm, I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana. I said, I, I, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I said, I don't have anything against you folks. I said, I just say boy because, you know, it's a, a, a euph uh, I'm an exclamation point. Yeah, I said, I don't go along down here, pal. He said, you better lay it off. So that was my talk about that. I still say it all the time because the old roots of Terre Haute, Indiana have uh, stuck with me all these years so anyway that's why i was looking to be a buyer this was the easier one to buy than if you were trying to pick the bottom in the uh in the soybeans i don't think they're ready yet but boy they will be and when we do we are going to be pyramiding the contracts in other words i i've done this in the past i haven't done it for quite some time but since i'm in the twilight of my trading years and i can see that one and a half furlong final of uh, resting post up to head uh, we're going to be doing one of those for soybeans this year i did one in oh well it doesn't make any difference that's history you don't want history you're you're interested in the mystery so let's move on here for just a second here to look at something else and that is soybean oil we'll be right back with soybean oil folks very important stay with us you don't want to miss it 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, early 1975, I had been studying the Gartley book for well over nine, nine, ten months since I had lost my money in October of 74. And uh, this was now, uh, we started into January of uh, 75. And uh, I found this Gartley pattern similar to one this one was right here. Soybean oil was trading at a very, very uh, small price. I think it was like $12 a pound it was really really small so he didn't have much margin to work with anyway i started to accumulate positions in uh, the december soybean oil and then about six months later into june of 1976 uh see yeah into 76 that was about seven months uh, soybean oil had moved up about 10 times. It was trading now. Instead of 12, it was trading for oh dear, some ridiculous amount of money. I think it was around 70 cents a pound or something like that. It was just really quite high. A lot of the folks have been following me. We, we made a lot of money. And on that particular day, I, you know, you have these life-changing things. And the report was so bullish that they said the only soybeans that you're going to find are those in the Smithsonian Institute. When I read that, I said, oh, dear God in heaven, something's wrong. Just like these dudes that are in this thing with the uh, crypto stuff, same type of stuff. Anyway, we started writing uh, sell tickets, put our stops in really close. Market broke that day with that bullish report. It was down the limit three days in a row. It went down for a year and a half. And that meant that the market had already made its move. So what I'm going to try to do is do the same type of thing with soybean oil or soybeans, November soybeans, and we're going to start adding to positions because that's what I did during that time. Every time I had doubled the, the someone's account, and most of these accounts were five and ten thousand dollar accounts, but when we cashed them out, they were worth uh, six figures and up. So uh, every time the market doubled, in other words, if we go from uh, let's say uh, forty-five. Okay, and your your margin on that is 45. It's 600 points. Okay, 600 points. When you go to 46, I would add another one. Okay, so now you have a $700 profit, and you're adding another one, and then you add another one, and then you add another one, and then you add another one. But what you have to do is you want to do it in the context of what the market is doing. Remember, when soybean oil went up at one time, let's go back here. You'll see here, 
this is where we were in June. Look how the market went up. You see, if you went started your program right here, okay, and then bought the first pullback right here, which was probably exact 382, okay, there was a 382 right here. Did it make an ABCD on the way up? Let's just check and see. There's ABCD. ABCD will be the one for me. How close did we come? We came, well, the high was, uh, <laughs> well, it missed it by quite a bit. It missed it by half a cent. 60, 11, and 60, 52 should have been the number. And then we made a double top in here. And then, of course, the market started to go down, and that happens all the time. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking to be adding during these times right here. And if it's really bullish, remember, these haven't even been planted yet. There, there's nothing in the... Nothing. They don't start this until uh, right in here around the end of March, early April. The planning intentions will come out, and they'll say, yes, the soybeans are X number of acres, and they'll give you a rough idea. And that's when you want to start looking at uh, what you're looking at. This thing will not start to go up until this trend line right here. You can see that long-term trend line that sets right there across these numbers. Once that's taken out to the upside, that might be the place where it starts to go higher. So that'll take quite a while because, look, even on this little format right here, just taking this small little pattern right here, it's got to get above 46. It's got to rally a whole cent just to get it above that 61% rate. But that would be the first sign that, yep, we made a lower low here, and now we're starting to move higher. So we're, these are the things that I have to be watching for each day. I, I do the same thing in the meal. And I do the same thing in the oil. I do them all the same. So I, I hope that uh, makes sense and what I'm going to be doing. But it's going to take a little bit of effort. You're going to have to have nerves of steel. You're going to have to put a little trust in the old cowboy. But, you know, I've been to this rodeo a few times, and I know how to do this. Uh, you're not going to risk very much. That much I can promise you. I've been to that. I've been to that dance. I don't want to. I don't want to go to that dance anymore. I don't want to risk very much. When we start this, we'll risk about a thousand dollars. And on the way up, we'll be adding with money that the market's given it to us, protecting ourselves all the way up. Yeah, we might get shaken out once or twice. We might have to start over once or twice. But when the when the uh, opera is over, the lady will be done singing, and that's where we want to be is in that opera seat, making salutations, having a little bit of a Dom Perignon 55, as James Bond would say. Anyway, so that's what we're watching here uh, in the near future here. Uh, for this. Our guests next week, we're going to have uh, Stan Harley and we're going to have Bill Meridian as our guest, Cycles Research. Hopefully, we're going to have Tim Bost. He's having a rough time, but I think he's going to be able to come back on and he's got some good stuff. He had some really great trades. We weren't able to follow through with him because he had a little bit of a relapse. So, we're going to have Tim on next week to see if we can uh, get some more you know, information uh, from that. Let's take a quick look and see where we are with our stop and pee position here. Here's where we are right here. We did it right there, and you'll see eh, it's, uh, we're out about a point. Eh, one point, not too bad. Remember, our stop would be above here. I got my limit minder on because I want to see if it pulls back down below this level. That would say, well, it didn't hurt us very much. It only went against us by uh, three, three, four, 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 four points. Your stop would have been here. So that's all I'm saying. To me, this market that broke this much, if it went from 06 down to 70, folks, that is 36 handles. It wouldn't have been, you know, I know it's rallied back, but I would think that it would have been a lot more bullish. You can see here, here was the bullish enthusiasm when that number came out. And yet everybody that bought that stuff in here at one time had a loss. So that's, uh, that's what I'm paying attention to is how much do I have to risk? to see if this is going to be something that's going to uh, roll over and maybe make a couple of bucks on the downside. So what I'd be looking for today, because we've got a couple hours to go in the day, I would be looking for potential of a market like this, where you had an ABCD pattern here. This would really shake them up. But can you imagine just risking that amount and looking to cover at 5062? That's 32 handles. And you only risk an eight? Hello, operator. Those are the kind of trades that you like to find you know that's the way i look at it from the cheap seats here in tucson arizona if you have any questions 877-927-6648 in march i'm going to have one of my uh, day trading days where we're going to be uh, live trading for four hours 
Uh, that'll come, I believe, around the middle of March. And so that'll be uh, fun to do and uh, be another three weeks or so before that gets off the ground. But uh, we've done six of those. We've done pretty well, had a lot of fun, and people enjoy them. So we try to do two a year, and our first one will be in March uh, during that time. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here today uh, with these trades. I think that's pretty much what I wanted to see about everything here. Let's see how much we got here on the old clock on the wall. 42 seconds left. Well, this is what we call dead air time, folks, because I don't have much else else to say here. Let's take a look at this gold trade. I really want to be short the gold. And I am, but I haven't got stopped out yet. See, my stop is right there. So, all right, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I believe we have a lucky caller. Dave, are you there? Up, oh, he must have just a question about the hogs. These are lean hogs, folks. I'm going to draw in here. If you'll never guess what this pattern happens to be, what would we call that? I think that's what we would call it, right? Anyway, this is what's happened. You can see here over the last five days, we've not gone very far. Let's just blow this up, and you can see here 
Okay, hold on. I think we've got a question here. Dave is in the house. Dave, are you there? I am here. Okay, I, I am bearish lean hogs. I think I would be a seller anywhere where they are now, and I think we're heading down to 82.40. We just made that really big ABCD pattern, and yep. if we were to re repeat what had just happened, we should get down to right around 63.40 is what I'm looking at right in here. So your risk here is about uh, one and a half cent, and your profit potential is three and a half to four cents. So that's a really good risk reward ratio. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, that's all you need? Well, yeah, I'm following you on the uh, the bean oil and then the corns okay. with the new crop. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to be ready, so yep, just be patient. Hey, when, when yeah, do you, you're, I, you must be yeah. a farmer, right? No, no, I am a uh, semi-tanker driver. Oh, okay, good. Well, almost like a almost like a farmer. <laughs> anyway, they start yeah. they start planting they start planting corn towards the end of March, early April. Beans a little bit later, but um, that'll be coming due here. The thing I like about these hogs is for the last four days we haven't been able to rally at all. You know, we know we rallied one or two uh -huh. pennies, and it looks like it really wants to head down to around eighty three cents, and uh, hasn't broken yet, but it looks like it's in the you know potentially headed towards that region. Uh, that area cattle have already broken heavily so right. hogs are not usually too too far behind hey thanks for joining us dave happy holidays i'll send that 20 bucks just as soon as i hit the next race at santa anita okay okay have a good one <laughs> you bet my friend may god bless see you on the flip side tomorrow boys and girls